Okay, so uh, like the story starts and uh, a long time ago in China, it was uh, it was a really really long time, like you know, like 180 or some shit, and uh, a lot of people were killing each other. There are like tons of horses. They, oh, ah, look at my horse! Uh, look at my horse! And then they like to fight each other while riding these horses. Uh, people people were killing each other a lot for. Uh, for fun and for land, and then you know traffic was pretty bad because it's uh, it's China. Uh, look at all these people die. Ooh. Ah. Ouch. Ah, fuck, man. Traffic sucks. Anyway, back at the capital city, the uh, the emperor is this eight-year-old kid, right? And uh, nobody actually questioned why the most powerful man on earth is uh, someone who hasn't figured out how to how to masturbate yet, and. This uh, emperor was like controlled by this really fat guy uh, called Dong Zhuo, who likes to sneeze a lot. Uh, he has this really uh, powerful, uh, terrifying sneeze, and every time every time he sneezes, uh, people shit their pants. Yeah, yeah, just just look at this. See, that's why uh, that's why nobody ever lets him eat any pepper. Uh, and then moving forward, here we see Cao Cao. Cao Cao is this this guy who just doesn't give a fuck, and uh, he's got like big brass balls. And uh, he heard that there was a party, birthday party going on for one of the ministers, Wang Yun. And he's asking this dude like, "Hey, how come I haven't got the Facebook invite?" And he's like, "Yeah, we didn't want to invite you because we think you're a Dong Zhuo's bitch." And he's like, "What? I'm nobody's bitch." And then in the in the next scene here, we see Cao Cao crashing Wang Yun's party. He's like, "What's up, Wang Yun? Why didn't you invite me?" And Wang Yun is like, "I heard you're you're a Dong Zhuo's bitch." And Cao Cao is like, "Bitch, I'm nobody's bitch. I'm gonna kill that cunt in two days. I'm gonna hang his head on the city walls." And then Wang Yun shed his pants, and he was like, "Get the fuck out of here! Don't 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 say stuff like that." And then he kicked Cao Cao out of his birthday party. Uh, right after he kicked Cao Cao out, there's one of Wang Yun's servants. He's just he's just hiding in the garden, like already waiting for Cao Cao to get kicked out. And he's like, "Hey, I heard you're gonna kill Dong Zhuo, and uh, I'm here to help you out." Uh, and then Cao Cao was like, "Wait, I thought, but I thought Wang Yun kicked me out. Uh, why is he changing his mind?" And the servant's like, "No, no, he he also wants to kill Dong Zhuo. He just doesn't wanna, you know, let everyone else at the party find out about it." So Charles was like, okay, cool, I'll, I'll meet this old dude. And then he met Wang Yun, and then they talk about how they plan to kill this uh, fat tyrant Dong Zhuo. And Wang Yun's like, okay, he might be really fat, but I have this dagger that's like really powerful. And it's called the Seven Stars Dagger. It's, it's passed on from my grandpa to my dad to me. And then you can, you can take it and like stab him with it. Because you know, uh, this guy wears his armor at all times, so you have to kill him with this, this little dagger. And then Cao Cao was like, "Okay, so uh, this this dagger belongs to you and your family, and uh, everyone's gonna know that it's yours, right?" And one is like, "Yeah, okay, I see no problems with that. Let's go." So Cao Cao takes the dagger and then he goes uh, visit Dong Zhuo at his house and he straight up walked to the security guard there and he was like, hey, you want to check me for weapons? And the guard is like, nah, it's fine, it's cool, you're, you're fine, go on. And then uh, he goes in and then uh, he meets Lu Bu, who, who is this like level 9000 warrior of, of uh, uh, unlimited strength and, and power and might and kills everything in one hit and then there was a little bit of a gay moment over there and then uh and then Lubu went off because because he needed to go go get Cao Cao a horse so as um as Dong Zhuo and Cao Cao were talking and chilling and uh, uh Dong Zhuo eventually got tired so he fell asleep and uh just as he was falling asleep Cao Cao was there fanning him like a fucking um Dyson fan, and uh, when he when he eventually realized Dong Zhuo was fast asleep, he pulls out the dagger and tries to stab him with it. But as we all know, uh, lightsabers have a very very bright uh, light that comes out from it. So Dong Zhuo actually wakes up from from the amount of light that the dagger had, and then he, he screamed, and all his soldiers ran in and. And then Cao Cao was thinking on his feet, so he went, Hey, uh, I was about to give you this dagger, right? 
you know, uh, have to wait till you fall asleep to give it to you for no apparent reason. And Dong was like, oh, wow, nice, thanks. This, this dagger is really sharp. Uh, 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 there's no chance you're going to use this to kill me, right? Haha. <laughs> and so I was like, no, 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 of course not. I wouldn't think of stabbing you while you sleep. That's just rude. So then Cao Cao uh, quickly left. He bumped into Liu Bu outside of Dong Zhou's house, and Liu Bu was like, hey, I got you a grab. Yeah. Uh, and Charles was like, oh, cool. And then he rides off on the new horse really quickly. <laughs> Meanwhile, Liu Bu goes into the house with Dong Zhou. And uh, Dong Zhou says, hey, look, Cao Cao gave me this dagger while I was asleep. And Liu Bu was like, okay, uh, was he trying to kill you? And Dong Zhou was like, mm. Oh shit, he was trying to kill me. So he uh, sent his guys out to go look for Cao Cao, who by now have ran all the way outside of the city. And there goes episode one.